currently at 6,500 feet, about 30 seconds flight time to Sedona Airport. As we make our way toward the runway center, let's talk more about navigation. When you need to set and maintain a heading, you'll want to rely on your heading indicator. Compasses are prone to errors, especially during turns or while accelerating or decelerating. Okay, we're in position over the runway center. Next step is to validate the time. That's a fancy way of saying, start your stopwatch. On the nav log, you can see our next waypoint, Munns Park, is at a 42 degree heading, about five minutes away. That means we need to be on a 42 degree heading. Check your heading indicator and make your turn. Good. Maintain a 42 degree heading. As you approach Munns Park, the terrain level rises. To maintain a safe altitude, we'd better climb to 8,000 feet. Make sure you keep the same heading. Maintain full power during your climb. Navigation is basically flying a given heading for a given amount of time. Sometimes you deviate. But if you track the time flown from your last known position, you'll always have at least a range for your current position. with a lake on its right. This is Munn's Park Golf Club. We're almost there. Let's proceed over it and check if the stopwatch matches the navlog estimation. We all know speed can increase or decrease depending on the wind. That's why at your next waypoint you'll want to compare your estimated time and route with the actual time flown. Validate your estimate and your progress. Okay, now get back to cruise attitude, let the speed increase, then set cruise power at 2,300 RPM.
That was excellent. Navigation to Munns Park is in the books.